hurt you anymore. It's over. Connor, no one's gonna hurt you. Ever again. My name is Lewis Hicks. I'm an investigative reporter. I cover stories of killers and criminals. Their lives are dark, without hope. I try not to let it affect me, but it's hard. <laughs> How's work? Any compelling real life stories, as you know? Ha! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> How's work for you? Are you working on the book? Always. Always working, Gordo. So, speaking of which, what type of work for you? You gonna take the university thing? Being an adjunct professor, I suspect a few ethics questions were made. Which you're a good writer. <laughs> you're a good investigator. Maybe, maybe this teaching thing is what you need to put it all back together. Yeah. Well, show that you can hold down a job. Stay in one place, a little stability. Hey, maybe get more visitation time with Hannah. Uh, um, that would be nice. How often you get to see? Weekends. Well, uh, most weekends. Louis, pal, I worry about you. Oh, uh, the truth is, you don't do so well on your own, you know? <laughs> what are you trying to say, Gordo? We should talk first. You want your wedding ring again? I'm sick of this mess. I'm sick of it. Alicia, wait. I'm done waiting. I'm done. Maybe your wife can handle it, but I can't. prosecuted Samson Reigns for those murders last year. Was it fun? <laughs> Felicia? Making all those headlines? I bet it was. A lot more fun than taking out a low-profile child abuse case, which got zero media coverage. The boy. Are you the boy's No. No, I'm not Felicia. <laughs> Felicia Carson, 
Single lives alone, dies today. See, it's written. So it's gonna have to happen. Alicia? Alicia! Alicia! Well, move to your police scanner again. I was the one that found her. I called in. What were you doing here? Friends. Friends. What happened to your head? There was somebody inside the house with her. When he saw me, he took off. I chased him. We got into it, and he slammed me into a dumpster. Okay. Chased him. He slammed you. Where'd he go? Lost him, man. He just... It's like he just vanished. Vanished? How? I mean, he was there and he was gone. So what happened next? I just passed out. Who is? What the hell happened to you? Hold on for that. Come here. Let's get an ID. This your friend? Pretty girl. It's a shame. Uh. She's a good person. Who do you want to do this to her? Assistant DA. Someone she put away. Someone who wants attention. 
Maybe random. Is this a random to you? No, it's crazy. Serial crazy. When was the last time you saw her? Outside our office building. How long have you been together? Two months? Uh, maybe more. We met on a story. Samson Rain's murders. I remember the case. I wrote in that article. This is nothing personal. Of course not. Wait here. I guess I'm going to take a full statement. I'll help any way I can. The department appreciates your cooperation. See you later, Gordo. That's a real prick. What you wrote about him, Ray? What do you think? Broke up with her tonight, Gordo. I can't help but think, you know. If I had, you know, she's upset at Gordon's now. This is not your fault. Get somebody look at that head of yours. I just had a rough night. <laughs> oh. Of course, let me guess. You were busy researching a really hot story. What's that supposed to mean? Are you going to take your son to the park this morning or not? Louis, you made a huge deal about how important every weekend is to you. Yes, yes, I am. Fine. Look, I'm just going to run some errands, but... Are you a mess again? No, no, I'm not a mess. This, yes, this is a mess. Boy, it hits. Miss? Mrs. Mrs. Hicks. Detective Becker, this is my wife, Gina. What can I do for you? I wanted to follow up on a couple of things from the Carson murder last night. Murder? Felicia Carson, an assistant DA, was murdered in her home last night. Your husband found a body. Someone I knew was killed last night. I'm sorry. A woman you knew. A source. From the last journal piece? My apologies for the early morning. I just wanted to get right on it. Wouldn't want to be accused of sloppy police work in another true crime article. Okay, Adam, honey, let's go. But I want to see Dad. I know, baby, not today. Daddy's busy. Gina, wait. I don't want to watch Barney's man. Adam, now, please. Well, Gina. Look, this is a bad time. Why don't you give me a call later this afternoon? What gave that away? Hey, a woman is dead. Today. Gina. No. no, wait a second. I'm sorry, but I was involved. You are always involved. You've never been able to know. Oh, are you serious? A woman was killed. I don't know. Maybe you fucking... Fucking her. Besides, we've been separated for six months. Oh, yeah, and you're, you're somewhere in your ring. Nice. Oh, stop it. Listen, I saw the guy who did this and I chased him. I can't fuck I don't care anymore. I'm sure it'll be great, especially at first hand account. I mean, you need to do it intimately. I'm sorry. Sorry, I just want to go home. No. You can't do that. You can't do that to me. Not like this. You seriously need to get your shit together, Lewis. I can't wait. Hey, buddy.
From what? From this journal? Yes. And that's not all I got. I got a friend. Louis, this is evidence. You gotta give it to Becker. Ah, oh, Becker. No, I, I, I can't trust Becker. I need you to run it for me. Becker's in charge on this. Any and all evidence you gotta turn in. You promise you run the print? Turn the journal in first thing. Give me the damn thing. Can I go back to sleep now? Okay, all right. Hey! Thank you, girl. Clear. Bathroom clear. Lewis, 
Hall, architect, Lewis Barnes, sales representative, Lewis Hayes, Community Brotherhood Project. You're a man of many faces. An investigative reporter. An investigative reporter. And you recognize him? It's the same guy. This accurately matches your description? That's him. That's definitely him. Fine. Circulate. Okay, so. Your door was locked. No sign of forced entry. How'd it get in? I don't know. I see. And you say he came in here looking for a journal. His journal. Yes. Which you should have turned in. And you obviously know that withholding evidence is a crime. All right. <sighs> Let me get this straight. A killer who only you saw breaks in here, steals the only proof you have of his existence. You think I made this up? I broke my own window, I put these cuts on my face? A security guard at the Federal Building saw Felicia arguing with a man after work. Would that be you? Yes. What were you fighting about? Am I a suspect here? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, at 6 o'clock, you two are fighting, and at midnight, she's dead. Listen to me. He plans to kill again. More people are gonna die. A lot more. I mean, I saw names, dates, surveillance photos. We gotta figure out a way to stop this guy. We. We gotta figure it out. I mean, it's not enough for you to write about these nut jobs. You, you gotta get in on the action. I just don't want to see any more people hurt. But don't you? I mean, doesn't that make for a better book? I mean, it's a hell of a career comeback. A killer who can't be caught. Personal interviews by Louis Hicks. Get out of my house. Spoken like a truly innocent man. Hey! Big he is. <laughs> How old is he now? Six? Seven in a few weeks. Go up before you know it. Uh, another half of it. Anything else I think of, Fred? Yeah. One hit. Nothing very useful. My name's Keach. Caucasian male. Height four foot seven. Residence, Trinity Home for Boys. Unknown family. Uh, the kid popped up in a state welfare database. Uh, orphan. Some group home up in Brooksville. Much guy, huh? About 30 years too young. I don't get it. Doesn't make sense. I know how you feel. I'm sorry about Felicia. What's your point? You need to stay away from this, Lewis too close to it. Becker's really got it in for you. And when he kills again, he's planning two more victims in the next three days. We're on it. Let Becker do his job. Oh, right. Because he's just so good at it. I gotta go. I'm just trying to help. Thanks anyway, Gordo.
Miss Carson, you and Vicky and I, what do you have in common? some names for me. Can I help me, Lewis? Listen, I'll tell him for a few days, and I'll get some pictures. Son of a bitch! I know it! I know she's cheating. I know, I know. We'll take care of her, buddy. Listen, you got something for me? Oh, yeah, right. Um, okay. What are these? Is the needle in the proverbial haystack. There's over 30 Ann Brightons in the metro area alone. But the Florida Island, there's just two kids. Ding, ding. One of them deceased. And the other one, God bless her. Is one of those who likes to spread her life all over the web. I mean, these women, they put it out there for everyone to see, and then they complain about stalkers, you know? Oh. You did good, buddy. You did good. Anytime. Anytime, Hicks, but you owe me one. Yes. Hi, I'm Vicki Eiley, please. Lewis Hicks with the journal. Yes. And I'm writing an expose on animal rights abuses in the food industry. Yes, ma'am, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. Ms. Eiling! Can I help you? Louis Six. You spoke on the phone this morning? How did you know where I work? Oh, sorry. The web page. I'm a reporter. <laughs> I'm on a deadline. I just had a few more questions. You know what? I'm in a completely rush. Oh, it only took you a couple of minutes. Can I buy a cup of coffee or...? You know what? Why don't you give me your card and I'll call you? Better yet, I'll call you. Uh, tomorrow morning? It's fine. Bye. Bye. Sorry to have bothered okay. you. Okay. Thanks. Have a good day. You too. Fine. Piece of cake. Here you go, you're all set. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, I do. No, 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 no. You're buying. On a teacher's salary? I don't think so. I guess it's on me then. All right, that's more like it. Can I speak to Ann Brighton, please? Oh, I see. Did she leave a forwarding address?
Vicky home. Uh, you must be Lewis. I'm Shelly, her roommate. Nice to meet you. Uh, sorry, Vicky's not here. She's not? No, um, she told me to tell you that she's sorry, but she couldn't make it. Why is that? Uh, tell you the truth. She's... She's very insecure. She panicked, she got nervous about going over the guy she just met. Well, can you at least tell me where she went? Oh, she's gonna kill me. The Griffin Room. It's about eight blocks that way. You turn left on third. someone there? A teacher? No, a student, actually. A little boy. Who? Uh, a orphan boy. He uh, played a bit rough with a stray cat. The teacher pulled on him. Sent him back to his group home. Yeah. He didn't much like it there. Hey, you all right? to miss it. It was a fucking cat! Right now, I got a whack job with the gun down at the Griffin. Oh, no. I know who the hell it is. I can't talk right now. I gotta go. No, 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 it's me. It's all with the gun. I tried to stop him. What are you talking about? Go, go. The same guy that killed Felicia. I tried to. He murdered again. He's gonna kill another one in 48 hours. Who's? Where are you? Where are you? I'm gonna come get you. I, I can't come in. I can't. They won't believe me. Lewis, if you run, I can't help you. Lewis!
The claim he was tracking the killer, recreating his diary. Jesus Christ. Could there be more? Nothing solves. You know this? Warned that there would be other killers. I love it. Hey, Marty Lewis Hex. Hey, buddy. Remember that thing I kept your name out of? Yeah. You said to call if I ever need to borrow one. Brother, as long as it's got four wheels, I'm good. <laughs> And the blood off the kid's prints, they're an exact match. What kid? Oh, right. It's an exact match, are you sure? Well, it's not that now. Could a uh, father and son have the same DNA? Well, all men have a copy of their father's Y chromosome, but this is more than that. I mean, this looks like the same person. Or, I guess it could be a twin, but it would have to be an identical twin. I mean, a fraternal twin wouldn't do. Is there room for error? Run more tests. That'd be great, Kayla. I owe you one. Well, you owe me a lot more than that, handsome. See ya. Shouldn't be home for boys. I sure hope so. They said to speak to Polly, second office on the left. Good. Hi. I'm Polly, the overworked and underpaid social worker. Uh, Louis Hayes. I'm with the Community Brotherhood Project. Oh, Mr. Hayes, have a seat, please. Thank you. I'm here on behalf of one of your kids, James Keach. Oh? What is that? Well, we run a corporately sponsored Big Brother outreach program. James's name came up as a possible candidate. James? Really? Well, you seem surprised. Perhaps someone applied on his behalf? Uh, no. No living family. Where did you say you worked again? <laughs> Community Brotherhood Project. Uh -huh. Part of the mayor's new joint outreach initiative. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I've heard of that. Don't you think James could benefit from some guidance? <sighs> yes, of course. He's a very bright kid. Aptitude scores, and especially in math. Mm -hmm. Well, when he cares enough to apply himself. <laughs> it's just, I'm not sure that he's ready. His social skills aren't terrific. He can be a handful. I think there are other kids that would be much more suitable. Well, it sounds to me like this is the one kid that would benefit most from our mentoring. May I take a look at his file? You know, it's just words on paper. Come with me. <laughs> He's been returned by every foster family we've managed to place him with, and he's getting to that age where, well, let's face it, even the best of them get less adorable as they get older. Let's just try and stay positive. See if the kid's not due for a change of luck. I like your attitude. I wish most of my colleagues felt that way. You wait here. I'll go get him. Of course. Call me Lewis. 
James, Mr. Hayes is our guest. Hi. Can you give me a moment alone with him, please? Sure. I'll be right over there. Hey, buddy, how old are you? What the fuck do you want, mister? Well, I asked to meet you. What for? Well, I'm in a big brother program. We go to group homes, take kids on trips, you know, stuff like that. Why? Just for fun. Is there anything special you'd like to do? Really? Try me. What do you want? How am I going to gain the boys' trust if I can't deliver? Look, Mr. Hayes, I have to ask why this child. Well, couldn't you ask that of any one of them? That's a good point. But he's had a very tragic childhood. Both his aunt and mother were murdered four years apart. How? Horribly. His mother was torn apart, dissected and left in a bathtub. And the police found him, a baby in the apartment with him. He'd been there for hours with the body. If someone had called an anonymous tip, he might not ever have survived. They ever catch a killer? Not as far as I know. James went to live with an aunt. It was a less than ideal situation. Drugs, domestic abuse. He went into foster care and right after the boyfriend killed the aunt, killed himself. Some sort of murder-suicide thing. And the father? There is no father. Take a look for yourself. A lot across the street had a camera. You see anyone else? No. There were witnesses outside. Nothing landed, but the window he shot out. Bartender. Said he saw him talking to another guy. Okay, then find me that guy. Because right now, the only guy is right there. And guess what? The last victim was dissected. Same M.O. as his ex-girlfriend. Do you think that's a coincidence? No, but I think you're being a little too personal on this one, Ed. Come on, it's Hicks. I know the guy. He's not a killer. Fine. Let's just get your boyfriend off the street so he doesn't get himself into more trouble. Let's man speak to Ann Brighton, please. Oh, my, my condolences. Sorry to bother you. Beautiful, aren't they? They kill us. No one's gonna want to mess with them. <laughs> That's nice. What do you want to be when you grow up, James? I don't know. Astronaut? Really? That's cool. Somebody, James? I get angry too sometimes. Hell, I might even want to get even with the person who made me angry. Yeah, I could hurt him really bad. You could, but then you'd be as bad as they are. I know some guy were trying to kill you, and you kill him first. Protect my family, yeah, I guess I would. Yeah. I probably won't be an astronaut. Don't say that, James. You can be anything you want to be. I'm really good at math. See, 
There you go. You be a scientist or a programmer, an inventor even. You're right. I call it a chance. I live in a fucking group home orphanage, remember? Oh, come on, I don't say that. It's true. You want me to lie? No, I don't. Penguins make it better when I lie. Penguins? Stupid nuns. No, sister, I didn't break the window. Yes, sister, I did my homework. You just... <sighs> James, let me ask you something. You ever seen this man before? No. You sure? You really think I could be an inventor? Of course I do. I could build a spaceship. It travels really fast. Like, faster than the speed of light. So fast that it gets to where it's going before it ever left in the first place. Ending up in the past. A time machine? Yeah. Go back to the past. Fix my life. I mean, fix your life. Is your bed? So you wanted to show me something? I don't know. I've never shown this to anyone. It's secret. But we're, we're friends, right? Yes, yes we are. I must not tell anyone, especially the penguins. Okay. Cross your heart, hope to die. I do. Cross my heart. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Is because I make my own zoos. A personal private team. I'll show you them. If you promise you'll come back and visit. Okay, I promise.
And these animals are dead. You hurt them. You, you don't understand. I I made this myself. Forget it. I know I shouldn't have shown you. I knew it. Sometimes friends have to say things that are difficult. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck I hate you! He tried to hurt me! He tried to touch me! No! He, he, he tried to touch me here! Like my other parents did! No, no, I didn't. Make him leave! I know. It's just something he says because he gets attention for saying it. Now I really think you should go. Do you know what he has in there? You promised! You swore! Hope to die! Hope to die! No, I'm, I'm sorry, James. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Kayla. I ran more tests. And? I got the lab to myself, but only for the next hour. You gotta see this. It's insane. I'm on my way. Well, the tests were consistent. The DNA on the bloody fingerprint matches the blood on the cloth you gave. So it's the same person? Absolutely. But here's the crazy thing. It's the cloth itself. I've never seen a weed structure like this before. You should take a look. Here, that's the sample you gave me. Go ahead. Okay, I can see it. Now watch this. When I apply the heat lamp, the strands actually expand. Whoa. And when I take it away, they contract. Cloth that reacts to temperature. Is that military? I have no idea. But whoever invented this could make a fortune. Unless it hasn't been invented yet. I could have a spaceship. I'm over the past. Thanks. Sorry, but you're listed and I needed to talk. 
I'm gonna do it today. You're a very troubled boy. Don't fool yourself. Can I offer you a drink? Yes, please. Do you think people are born evil? Does the world make them that way? Well, that's a good question. I think people are basically good. Evil's an accident. An error. An error of growing up that causes people to make the wrong choices for what they think are the right reasons. So you don't think people intend evil? No. I've seen too many kids. They want to be good. And life just doesn't work a certain way and wrong choices have a way of multiplying. Even Hitler didn't think he was evil. He thought he was saving the world. Manson too, in his own way. But what if you could kill Manson? Or Hitler when he's still a child. No way. They're children. I'm not Hitler or Manson. Not yet, no. You're talking about James. He's had a troubled life, but there's hope for him. He's just a child. People are dead because of him. James? More people are gonna die. What are you talking about? What's your name? What? Your name. What's your name? Holly. Anne. Anne is my my birth name, but because of my sinus disposition, my friends call me Pollyanna. I call me short. I'm making this sort of stuff. What is going on? And right. I have to stop this. I'm sorry. Please don't go anywhere. It's not safe. I have to. told you he wants to make a time machine. Check the date on the article. It's more than 20 years from now. Come on, my kid can make that on a laptop in five minutes. There's a cloth from his jacket. It hasn't even been a 
I should have warned you about that. The first jump really messes with your insides. I remember my first jump. It was a sweaty, filthy evening 11 years ago. I cut her heart out. Dear Mom. Rest her soul. I paid her back in advance for a lifetime of misery. She was the definition of shitty mom. Addict. Fondler. Killing her didn't solve anything. And then Simon lived with Aunt Carol, who made my crack whore mommy look like a saint. So I offed her too. But I couldn't stop there. You see, every time I fix something, something else needed to be fixed. Time doesn't like to be messed with. But that's when I figured it out. 
you are the problem. Each time I revisited this week in my life, you were always there to mess things up, so this time I made you part of the solution. The future. In black and white. You see, you bring the boy here, and he becomes a hero. I never had a chance. You're his chance. His only chance. My chance. Now go get him. He trusts you. Not sold? Okay. If you don't bring the boy back here in 15 minutes, I'm gonna gut her and make her eat her own intestines. <laughs> you better hurry. Talking about the boys, so we might have headed back to the orphanage. Okay, okay. I'll take the team there. You take Maddox and go check on that girl. What are you doing here? I came back for you. Here? I'm gonna get you out of here. Not what you thought the future would look like.
Where's the boy? You let her go and I'll tell you. You promise? Cross your heart and hope to die? Yes, now let her go! Hey kid, it's good to see you. My name is James, too. Same as you. Name's Keech. You my dad? No. I'm you, James. From the future. You know how you wanted to go back in time and fix things? Well, I did it. I'm you, just older. We're the same. I am not, James. You'll never be him. Don't listen to him. Listen to me. To us. Are you gonna hurt her? But... She's always been so good to me. But you don't know the future. I do. In a few days, she's gonna find your private zoo and they're gonna lock you away with crazy people. They will do unspeakable things to you. They'll burn you, and cut you, and worse. I'm not gonna let them do that to you. Don't look at him! He's not your friend! Go ahead. Kill me. Not change us. He still becomes me. Kills you. He becomes a hero. Welcome to the future. What's happening? James! James! James!